I will now select these 20 files and folders, press command I and the screen will explode with all the info windows. And now I have to calculate it all by myself and close it one by one. It's so annoying, right? Luckily, there is a way how to get the summary info on multiple selected files. Let me show you. In the finder on your Mac, you can choose a file and then press command I to get info with all sorts of information about the file you have selected. This may be different depending on the type of file, but always at the top you will see the name, you will see the file size, the last modified date, you can see any tags associated with the file, and then you have these different sections. General gives you information about the kind, size, location and so on. And the more you can see lots of other information. This section is actually always different depending on the type of file. In this case it's an image, so you can see things related to that, like dimensions. There is not much you can do with this. Interestingly you can change the name of the file from here. Name of the file is also written under this tab, but this time it's an editable window, so you can actually change the name from here. But it's still not very exciting, let's move on. Because imagine example I want to get information about another file. So I have to go back to finder, select it and use command i shortcut again and it will open up another info window here. Normally it's showing the information separately, each window for each file. But what if I want to calculate the sizes on both of these files together? There are two different ways how to do it. Let's start with the summary info window. I will select multiple files, go to file menu on top and here is the command to get info. But now if I hold down the control key, note, this is not an option key but control key. You can see that the command have changed into get summary info. And now it shows me combined size for all of these files. This is a handy way how to find out how much space a group of files will take. And I can now create a folder from this selection and I already know what will be the size. By the way, this is just one of the five techniques how to create folders on the Mac. I have recently made video about it on the channel. So I recommend you to watch it after watching this one. Because we are not done here yet. I want to show you one more technique. Sometimes you don't need a summary info. But what you want is just to quickly see information about many different files in order to compare them for example. And for that purpose, it's great to use the inspector view. We are starting the same. Again, select anything you want and go to file, get info, but this time hold down the option key. You can see it changes to show inspector. Now when I open this up, at first it doesn't seem to be any different than the standard get info window. But there are actually two important differences. One is the fact that this window always floats on top. If I choose this finder window and drag it over, the inspector view always remains on top. Thanks to that it makes it easier to scroll between many different files. And yes, that's actually the other very important difference. I can just use the arrow keys on my keyboard or click with the mouse on another file and this window will change depending upon what I have selected. And I can even combine it with the previous summary window. I can make a selection of files and the inspector view changes to show me the summary info. I find this very useful and I really enjoy finding these small features, some hacks, tips and tricks around macOS. If you also find it useful, I would be very happy if you joined the channel. Since it was created in 2020, I haven't missed a single release on every Monday. Yet more than 95% of people just come watch one video and don't really get to the tips of next week. If you would like to learn something new every week, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you on Monday. Thanks for watching.